I'm Sarah Wyman. And I'm Phil Wyman. Between us, we have investigated countless locations in our search for proof of the paranormal. We are invited to question the unexplained, to uncover what may be lurking in the shadows. With many reported hauntings throughout the UK, no two investigations are the same. Now, together with a team of experienced investigators, we continue to seek evidence to prove whether a haunting can be validated or not. From a selection of cases we each receive, we will come together to pick the most interesting and ask the question, Are you haunted? I'm bringing back my haunted cafe because I still think it's quite interesting and worth having a look at. Okay, I'm bringing some haunted woods to the table. It's different, but let's see if anybody else likes it. Okay, something we've never done before, a haunted workhouse. I think it's going to be fantastic, but will the others want to do it? Right, well, we've all had a look at the investigation locations on offer this time. Um, I've made my decision. What do you guys want to do? Well, I actually did bring the cafe both times, twice now, having read every um, option. I'm going to go for the workhouse. I quite like the sound of that okay. one. Okay. Ben? I think I'm going to go for the workhouse as well. It seems really interesting. Okay. Jane? I want to go for the workhouse as well, please. Popular choice. <laughs> well, same again. Uh, when you read into it, yeah, it's uh, very interesting, so I'd love to do that one. Okay, yeah. Dale. Like Sarah, I brought something different. I brought the woods, but I'm going to change my selection. Um, reading the cafe. I think the cafe looks fantastic, so I'm going to go for that. You're just doing that because it's not outside and it's cold. <laughs> Change your mind. Um, I, I bought the haunted workhouse, so I'm going to stick with my uh, choice. Yours. Okay, so okay. I'm the winner this time. Um, so then it looks like we're off to Doncaster and the haunted workhouse. My venue brings the Are You Haunted team to Thorne in Doncaster to investigate a former workhouse, now the home of the Thorne Sea Cadets. With reports of unexplained phenomena taking place and being witnessed, we asked the Sea Cadets commanding officer for more information. My name is Dave Redmile. I'm the commanding officer of Thorne Sea Cadets. So technically I just I run the day-to-day -day running of the unit from teaching the cadets to uh, organising external events and everything in between. The building has been obviously around since the very late 1700s is from my research and it was built as a workhouse. The complex was bigger than what it is today. Um, it's just a 
a corner of it left. And then after that, it got requisitioned by the Sea Cadets in 1941 um, and become a Sea Cadet unit, and it has been ever since, really. In my office up, up top in the, in, in the ship's office, I have often used to find a tray of chalk crayons, what we used to use for teaching the kids. Uh, I used to find it on the floor on a regular basis. I used to think it were the children. Uh, but after further investigation, it turned out not to be. So a bit of an unexplained um, occurrence. And a cadet. Last year, actually, Christmas, we had our Christmas party, and it, she come, she'd, she'd gone up top to see, to do something, walked past my office, and thought I was sat in my office, and it actually wasn't, because I was downstairs. So when she arrived back downstairs to, to greet me, she, she looked a bit perplexed, and when, when I asked her, she says, well, there was someone sat in your office. I said, well, there ain't no one else upstairs by yourself. So she's seen something. From my point of view, uh, there's some unexplained sort of phenomena, if you like. I'm a person who believes I have to see it to believe it sort of attitude, so you take bones out of that what you want. OK, guys, at Thorn Workhouse, Doncaster. Um, old building, dates back to the 1700s. There's only a small part of the building left, but obviously it still occupies uh, the area where the original entire building stood. Um, so what do we know? Built in 1700s, as I said, uh, round about the 1920s, it then held about 111 people in here. Conditions were really bad, especially when the actual workhouses opened. Children were even brought in here with the parents. If they were a single parent, for instance, you had to come to the workhouse, you brought your child with you. Yeah. So you can imagine the conditions at, oh. at that point, okay? Now, the reasons we're here, obviously, is it's haunted. Yeah. Or at least we think it's haunted. We're here to see what goes off. Things have been seen such as shadow people, um, footsteps have been heard, objects have been moved around, there's been a female spirit, apparently, seen and heard here yeah. and voices have been heard so there's been another group that have been in here and done investigations then yeah there has there's been as far as i'm aware one other group that's been in here but it's not just the outside group that's had things happen and witnessed things um, some of the younger people the children that come here um, a couple of those have experienced uh, in the, oh, fucking, i keep hearing it's something I do, I yeah do. i do as well I it's going on just me then. I wasn't going to no, say nothing and interrupt it. That's why I was tapping, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Through the... Should go to the vestie. Not yet, no. I'll we'll get his fucking line out of the way. Wait! Well, any of you could have cut in and We're introducing you first. Then. Yeah. Very well. For the sound. Some of the cadets that are actually in this building have witnessed stuff as well. Tell me more about the, the female spirit. Um, the female spirit has been seen by uh, a woman that's been working here since the 1970s, I believe, Dale. Is that yeah. correct? Yeah. Yes. And she's been seen on a couple of occasions by this this lady. So hopefully we can get to the bottom of that. And whatever is here might put in an appearance for us tonight. That'd be really good. Excellent. Mm. So is it time to turn out the lights? Let's turn out the lights. Turn out the lights. We hadn't even started the investigation properly when the first incident took place. Not all of us upstairs. No, no. There's a fucking door just been shot and footsteps has just walked upstairs. Shut up, man. I'm, I'm off fucking kidding you. You're fine, uh, You know, yeah. Well, I've got no fucking camera. What do you mean? <laughs> say that to camera now for us. You just caught me saying it. You should be going upstairs and seeing what there is. Come on, guys. I haven't go. got a camera. Go. Let's go. Go. Come on. I'll just what turn to normal for a minute. What, what do you just say, Phil? Ben, just Tim, just go and fucking see what's upstairs. 
So what, he's just heard the door shut up here. And footsteps. And footsteps, bloody hell. We haven't even properly started yet, man. Hello? Which door? Front. That's Whoa, that's the thing. If he's downstairs, it could be any door, couldn't it? See, these bulbs, fluorescent tube, and this bulb. They're on a sensor. Yeah, it's what? fine, but the office, that's on a sensor. So that's all just come on there because of the sensors up above here. Well, Here's one. Around, which door are closed? And that so sensor there. Keep one by opening it and see if it swings closed. So there's nobody here. Down there. Good, Bennett, man. Do you have any idea? Good, Bennett, man. Hi, on, don't leave me. <laughs> Jesus. What the hell's going on? Right, I heard the door go. So it's not this one. Okay. But all this corridor is censored. So the light should be off there. Shush. That was more like it. Right. And the footsteps were on carpet. I was down um, in that room where we were just on the room discussion <coughs> and I heard the door go. Yeah. But Phil, I heard it shut. Just go through that door that you were closing. There's another door down the corridor. Just like that one. There it's automatically. Well, what does it do, you think? Which door automatic? This one here? Yeah. That's on a spring. More chance of hearing that one downstairs. That's, that's, not, that's not loud enough to be downstairs. But then where were the footsteps? Well, you said on carpet. This is carpet. Walking down this corridor. So it's either this door and this corridor then, or, the or it's that door and mm -hmm. that corridor. I think it was this corridor then. Hence why the lights were on. I think it was that. Yeah. God, what has he been hearing? How clear was the door, she? Very clear. Yeah. Did it sound like a slam? No, it just sounded like a door closing heavily. So, Because I was expecting one of us to come downstairs. Yeah. That's why I waited. Right. And then I heard the footsteps across the corridor, land, the landing. Yeah. And I thought... But those footsteps you just heard me make, yeah. was that from the same area, <sighs> you think? No, it's hard to tell. Whereabouts were those footsteps? Because they sounded the, further back. Those were the corridor with the green tiled carpet. Not the one into the yeah, castle. The one with the sensors on it. No, no, it's difficult to pinpoint it. Right. That's where I heard all the noises earlier, when we were up in that room, and the one with yeah. the green carpet. In fairness, it's been noises all night. Yeah, That's noise, it. noise just yeah. out here then. That was fucking crystal clear. That's why I, I thought, what the fuck are, Who's upstairs? Because I thought you were all in there. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought I waited for somebody to come down, thinking you've gone up or you've gone up again to look for something for the year to do something within that room. Nobody come down, and I, that's why I thought. I thought I better go and check, and I walked in there, and you were all in there, which I kind of hoping you would be, <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah. If you know what I mean. <laughs> because then, you know, what were the fucking footsteps for? Interesting. Mm. Fucking freaked me, I'll tell you that. Sorry, swear. That's it. Yeah, I good. Like that, that I've really drunk really often either. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> You're so bad. Okay, so Tim and I are upstairs um we're sat in one of the rooms off the corridor where i heard the footsteps or it's one of the rooms and areas where the footsteps could have originated from so we'll see what happens but the attic itself is again part of the original structure it's got the original beams in there okay when you look at the ceiling downstairs the beams aren't original Right. So they're not part of the 
old building yeah. as such. Whereas I know these beams up here are part of the original structure. Okay. So whether that holds any energy, I don't know. But it's awfully cold and eerie up here. Okay. It's bit carpeted through here, so it might be a bit warmer. I'm just going to adjust my night vision slightly. Okay. I feel very unsteady on my feet. So we're in the bar area at the moment, myself and Ben. Heard a few noises. Um, nothing majorly concrete right now, but there's one noise that we're not 100% sure what it was. That sounded like it was downstairs. What? What? Sound like voices or something, but it didn't sound like it didn't want to hear any buzz. Has anybody come back downstairs? No, myself and Jane are right up in the attic. Tim and myself have walked across the corridor to the other end of the room. Has anybody opened or closed a door? Uh, we did about three minutes ago, but it didn't slam or anything. Are you able to do it again, just so I can make sure that it's not that noise that I heard? What are they doing there when I open it? Yeah, hang on a minute. It sounded more like, you know, when you pull a door and you kind of get that suction noise, like a when you open it. Does that make sense? Yeah. I heard your door, but it's not the same noise. Thank you. Yeah. It sounded like a door opening and it sounded like it was on the same level and everybody else is upstairs. So hopefully we might get something else. Nobody else heard it. No. I feel very uneasy. In what way? The atmosphere's changed. Oh. In what way? The atmosphere's changed. Oh. Was that from outside or was that inside? It was inside, but I think it may have it been. Came from, no, it came from here, that noise. It didn't come from you, Jane. You didn't make that noise. It came from this area. Do that then over there. You make that noise. It came from this area. Do that then over there. What? J just stay still a second. Okay. Do I go to a different part of the downstairs? Like where? Could go in the hall. I think we should go behind that dark door. You can't go for that door. No, but you can go behind it. I hate round there. There's no to sit as well. We just go and have a look, see what's down there. I've been down there. You just don't want to go because it's dark, see? It's really dark down there, like really dark. There's no lights or anything. It's like no outside sight. Excellent. Shall we go? Oh, God. <laughs> Come on. Can I put my flashlight on? Yeah. Oh, hold on. It's cold down here. That's really dark. Hello? It was like a... It came from near the door. Don't run. 
Jesus. If you listen carefully, you can clearly hear the breath that Ben hears. Hello? What? What the hell? <laughs> Hello? Get a grip now, Benjamin. <laughs> oh, God, God, what are you doing? Have you been slamming doors? No. Fuck off. He's just really freaked out. Seriously? He's hang just made me run. Hang on, hang on. Have you been slamming doors? No. Twice. We've been, ra we've been radioing you. We've closed those doors. We've been radioing you. What, bang? We didn't bang them, we just closed them. How did you close them? Sorry, but I need to know how you closed them. Hang on a minute, we've got something going on here. Come on in, Tim. That was like a female breath. Definitely. He's just made me run, and I never run. <laughs> Can I just ask you something, Beth? What was, when I come for the door, what was? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> shh, 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 shh. Right, come on. That was actually terrifying. Yeah. Just explain what happened. Yeah, sorry, Tim. What was just saying? Yeah. Uh, right. Basically, that door was like playing around. I don't know if that was you going downstairs or whatever. No. No. Well, whatever. My mum was stood here and she was like, we both heard like sounds over there. So she looked over there and said hello. But I turned and went over there and looked that way. And I heard from like, over there, right? <sighs> kind of thing. I, it sounded like a female, but it wasn't no. It was really like, so I can, yeah, panic. Cause did you get him on camera running? He just ran into me and then it, then it made me run, which, I'm quite ashamed by that because I don't ever run. <laughs> but it was the fact that he was like, legging it. Well, we tried radioing you a couple of times. I don't know. Because there was a slam and then it was quiet and then about, I don't know, 10 seconds went and there's another slam. I know 10 seconds possibly went and then another slam. So radio, because it sounded like it's coming from your area, it's like, Sarah, are you slamming doors? And you just wouldn't respond. Unknown to any of us until editing this footage, another breath can be heard as Ben and Sarah enter this area. I can't see. That's it, thank you. Had. Yeah, I don't want to make any noises at Carrie. I've never known a building have as many noises from the start. Mm. And yes, it's an old building, but it's not. It's not like an old hall with all the... Cre I, know, no. I know we've got a mixture of flooring and ceiling stuff, but it's not a really old creaky building in that respect. No, it's not a big wooden building that can creak and change with the temperatures. No, it's... Um, it's a solid building. Well, we've not the, got any heat on, so there's, there's no cooling no. and warming up because we've got no heat to, to avoid that, obviously. Yeah. What was that squeak? That was a dog, This is ace. <laughs> Stuff going off all over the place. Yeah. Right, we need to go back in here, don't we? If there's something going off in here, do you think? What's it going there? You stay out there on your own then. Yeah. I don't know. Keep going. Well, really, that's funny. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. God, it's cold in here. Well, I really don't feel right in here now. 
Yeah. You're just scared, that's all. I was still where you are right now. Right? Mum was stood here and she had a camera and she was like, but we heard sounds over there, so she was just, hello, looking down there. And I was looking down there at first and I turned my head, looked over here for like a second and then I just heard the sound. What did you hear again? It w- Serious question? Yeah. It was like a, a quick flight. They sound like a girl, like, sigh or something, like an e- inhale, rather. Well, this... Yeah, how? <sighs> Good. That was Ben. That wasn't. It wasn't. It, it was. It was the door. That was the door. <sighs> Good. That was Ben. That wasn't. It wasn't. It was. It was, it was the door. That was the door. That's the noise that it was making earlier. Good. Come on, and if you're down here, let us know you're here. I pushed that handle down and pushed it quietly shut, so it should be reasonably well closed. Come on, let's hear you. Were you here a minute ago? When we were sat in the bar as well, we had what sounded like um, somebody sort of knocking on the... The hell was that? Somebody sort of knocking on the... The hell was that? Somebody sort of knocking on the... The hell was that? Please say you heard it. I, heard I don't it. think that's the door, man. Play around with the door, see if you make the sound like that. The dining what's it? Where's the radio? The dining chain's still with the lights, I think. It's not that one. What is that? <laughs> I don't want to the edge, you want? Oh, yes. I want edge. I don't like it. Shall we just sit in here for a bit? Hello, uh, Phil or Tim. You guys, uh, you guys okay over there? Yeah, have you guys just been walking around? Uh, we've just heard some footsteps. Yeah, we've just heard some distinct footsteps from upstairs. So we're just in the classroom at the moment, and it was from out in one of the other corridors that we heard them coming from. How long ago was it that you heard them? Are they walking around up there? About one or two minutes ago, from what I can tell. Yeah, they were footsteps. Are you walking now? No. They've just heard footsteps upstairs. So I, I've, just, I've just heard them as you were talking. What the hell's going on here, man? What? Um, Sarah's. We're we're stuck where we did the discussion, and Sarah says you can hear things. Just bear with me a minute. What was that sound? What was that? What the hell was that sound? What's that stupid squeak again? That was that was longer, that was drawn out. That's yeah, like a yeah, hearing what sounds like voices down the end. It's going, it's getting pretty losing it up here, man. There's definitely some weird shit going on. Uh, this. Okay. Yeah. Is that bloody moon? Are you moving at all? No, we're just talking about ourselves. We've heard a couple of thuds uh, from up here. Hopefully one loud enough that the camera picks you up. We'll wait up moving we're both stood on the spot. Okay, we're getting more noises down here and a funny, it's like a moan. If you're out there, come and show yourself. Try and shut this door if you can. What the 
That's that door opening. That is that door opening. Oh, what door? Dale, Dale, please tell me that you've been still. You know what I radioed you? Mm. Yeah, where's Dale? Oh, he's still, he's still. What was that? Shh, shh, shh. You promised me that you're still right there. Steps. You promised me that you're still right Steps. there. Absolutely, yeah. Jesus Christ, man. You're going to get them down here. You're going. This is too much, not too much. <laughs> you're really freaky. It's a, I, well, I know that they're where they're meant to be. escape from this place but you can't you're trapped here you're trapped here what's going up? no <laughs> oh come on that's what we're here for right so Dale's going all brave. The fuck? Oh. Jesus Christ. <gasps> fuck. Oh. Jesus Christ. <gasps> Hello? Hello? <laughs> right, we are not running. We are going towards it. Come on. You first, obviously. <laughs> oh. Where's that coming from? Down there. Those noises definitely came from that yeah, way, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. There's some knocks coming from the kitchen. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Deep breath, I, I do deep feel breath. really uneasy. Deep yeah. breath. Don't you? Oh, for God's sakes, get the camera. Sarah, you will be so proud of me. I am going first. Are we ready? If you're here, come and say hello to us. That's Tim. Oh, yes. And I'm Phil. So come and say hello to Tim and Phil. Nothing there. I'm just gonna have a quick look. Yeah, go on, let's go in. Oh my god. Oh god, it's freezing in here. All the windows are closed and they're double glazed, so they're not gonna make a noise. Are they? No. <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the hell was that noise? Oh! Sorry. <sighs> right. I'm doing. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> Where's the walkie talkie? It's here. Oh. <gasps> what? Well, uh, is someone upstairs? Guys! <laughs> that was as if you're on about a banging noise. Yeah, there was a big one down in that corridor though. We've just been squealing like girls. 
just been screaming. Uh, uh, <laughs> I've just done a piece to camera to Sarah to say how brave I was going first. Yeah, I didn't there go. And then you squirted like a girl. That was me. Both of us actually. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Oh, um, we heard something coming from the kitchen. Like a squeal. Like a squeal. So we went in there, spun round, and we're just coming back through, and there was just two or three big, quite big, massive big, noises. There was a big bang from outside the kitchen as well, from yeah. the where all the equipment is. Um, and and we nearly ran, bolted, then we realised, and then and then we came out, and there was even more noise. And then we did one. It's funny because they were on about, oh, we're not going to get scared. <laughs> There's someone upstairs coming downstairs. Is someone moving around just at the top of the stairs in that corridor? What? Someone moving around top of the stairs in the corridor. No. No. I didn't hear a sound, but I thought it was someone's voice or something. Um, it's not always wearing the end office. Whereabouts are Phil and Tim? Uh, they're still in the attic area. Do you want to look down that corridor? <laughs> no. No, I'm all right, thanks. Quite happy in here. Or do I have to pretend to be brave again and then run off? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go for it. I think Describe that. What even with your detailed descriptions, you don't know how to describe it. That doesn't sound right. That, that, I've never heard something like that before. I don't want to worry you, Jane. I don't want. Um, you can see. I don't know if you can see it on night vision. No, you can't. The light. Yes. That you can see the crack of the door. Yes. Just disappeared. What? Uh, as though a shadow passed, blocked the light. You are kidding. Where the light, uh, the keyhole is, and just above that. Don't tell me that. There was a distinct blackness, only for a, a half a second, but it just disappeared. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, I could, you, can, you can see now. No, you, you can't see it on night vision. You can't vision. see it on the night vision, but... but with your own eyes, Jane, you yeah. can see that keyhole. All the way up, and the keyhole. That yeah. disappeared. That keyhole. <laughs> Fucking hell! Oh my god! That door was closed! And that door's just opened up! Keyhole that disappeared. That keyhole. Oh. Ah. Fucking hell! What the hell? And that door's just opened up! Oh my god. Yeah, we know. Really? Yes. <laughs> well, no, that's the way that was Dale. Okay, everyone, so as usual, we have got the footage, um, certain incidents that took place. This is from the workhouse in Thorn. So I'm gonna play back the clips and get your sort of feedback on how you feel about it now you've had time to reflect. The first clip is yours, Phil. Um, right at the beginning of the night, before we've really started to do anything, mm. um, and I'm gonna to apologize to the camera for the language that uh, you will hear. No. There's a fucking door just been shot in footsteps as you've walked upstairs. Sure. Man, I'm, I'm often kidding you. So tell us about that. Mm, yeah. 
<laughs> you guys had wandered off into one of the other rooms to film some bits and pieces and left me, I think I was putting some cameras away or some bits of a piece of equipment. Um, I didn't have a camera and just as I was packing it all away, there were footsteps walking across the upstairs corridor and the door shut. I'm like, what, what was that? And I'm like, I ain't got a camera. So <laughs> I ran into you guys. I remember this. You need to film this. Basically get upstairs, get your asses upstairs and there's something going on. Um, but yeah, that was, it was crystal clear to me. And I'm just annoyed that I didn't have a spare camera at the time and I wasn't recording anything because no, I was right, really packing right. stuff up. So, but that would have been crystal clear on, on camera, I'm sure it would. Mm. Okay, next clip then is Jane and Dale. I've got a few clips for you today. <laughs> Comedy duo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's go ahead with the first one. It's going all brave. The fuck? Oh. Jesus Christ. <gasps> Hello? Okay, so this is you guys going to investigate yeah, yeah, exactly now. And they've yeah, been all the brave. Problem. Yeah, for about four steps. <laughs> yeah. And then it's retreat. Two worst people to <laughs> put together. <laughs> we were a nervous wreck, weren't we? <laughs> but you know what? At least this shows that it's genuine. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. It okay, was. It was totally see. genuine. That, as we confronted it, there was just one solid knock. And it obviously came from in front of you somewhere. Yeah, yeah it was so close. Up. It was so close to us. As I said, when we were sat down in the first clip, you could hear them from a distance. Mm. And then obviously we'd move towards it. We'd move to the crew room where the knocks were coming from. And then this one knock came from exactly the same place. Okay. And it was obviously a lot louder, a lot closer to us. Yeah. And so it was a lot more startling. It's like, oh, and we, obviously we backed off really quite quickly. Okay. What do you think it's been then? Do you, do you think... Can you give a rational explanation for it? For those knocks, no, no. No? We, none of the crew were anywhere near. There was no noise coming from outside. It was deadly quiet because it was such a bad night. Right, okay, Ben. Remember our time in that corridor? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Right, well, I've watched the footage back and what is really interesting, and I'm not going to tell you what I can hear. I just want you to watch this because I didn't, or Ben didn't hear it at the time. So watch it okay. and see what you guys think. Massive. It's a real big <gasps> clear as a bell, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't miss it, but and it, as I'm time. just saying, I just <laughs> to sort of eliminate, I did, you can see me closing the door, it's the not the noise of the door. Better carried on yeah. mm -hmm. further so down. I, think. I, I, I don't know. You're speechless, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> you know <what> <laughs> right. Well, it, it ties, interestingly, into the next I was just going to say, so we'll go Sorry, on to the, <laughs> the next one. Me and you, again, in the same corridor. Hello? Yeah. What? What the hell? What? 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 And I think what he's actually done is, as I'm stood, he's gone behind me like this, a sort of like, <laughs> me, kind of a thing. And I just thought he was pushing me out of the way to leg it down the corridor and desert me, so we both ended up rather Lame. shamelessly um, <laughs> legging it. And yes, I do sort of feel a little bit silly about that now, but it, again, it's a natural reaction. Mm. So come on then, tell us what you think about that. Did you not hear that at the time? No, I didn't hear it. Because that was just really weird. It was straight after you said hello because you thought you heard something and then I just hear it come from the doorway. Okay, I'm going to go back to you two. Oh no, I don't know what this is. Do you? I've got a feeling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the kitchen area and you hear some noises. What the hell is that? Oh my God. <laughs> what the hell was that noise? Oh! 
Sorry. Can you remember what yeah. you heard? <laughs> yeah, there was a noise. I, I can't recall, without listening to it again, I can't recall <laughs> what the noise was. Some noise came from within the kitchen. Right. And we'd only just walked in there. Yeah, and there was nobody in there. Away. There was nobody in there. Everyone, I think, was upstairs. It was only myself and Jane downstairs. And this noise came from sort of far in the kitchen, the back end of the kitchen. Because we went in and, and went round everything after that, but we couldn't there figure out what there. it was. Yeah. This is your final clip. We are going to say the best for the yeah. last. <laughs> yeah, you, you can see now. No, you can't see it on night vision. You can't vision. see it on the night vision, but... but with your own eyes, Jane, you yeah. can see that keyhole. All the way up, and the keyhole. That yes. disappeared, that keyhole. Oh! Ah! Fucking hell! <laughs> oh! oh my God! <laughs> that door was closed. And that door's just opened up. <sighs> so, aside from the hyperventilating, <laughs> how did that make you feel? Well, as you did, Sarah, when you walked into that corridor and you closed the door behind you, we did exactly the same. We walked down the corridor, Jane had gone round the corner, and I noticed, noticed a shadow come across the door, blocking out the light. The light's on outside the kitchen. In the corridor? Oh, outside, outside, of the door. Right. outside of the door, where the kitchen is, there's a light on there. And I saw some form of shadow block that light out. Um, I called Jane over. So I went down just to confirm that I could see the light. And then the door opened. Door opened. Yeah. Okay, so next clip is we went back and sat in the bar area. And we've got this on two different cameras because she was filming and I was filming as well, so... Here we go. That's, that's that door opening. That is that door opening. What door? Dale, Dale, please tell me that you've been... That door. You know when I radioed you? Mm. It's still, it's still... What was that? Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> what would you prefer? Nothing happened? No, no, no. It was just all of a sudden it was all kicking off. I was like, oh, it's steady, yeah. steady. Dale, Dale, please tell me you keep it still. <laughs> I remember yeah. that. And yeah. the interesting thing is that looking back at the footage, <laughs> what we've got of you upstairs, and we can see that you are still when that radio comes mm. through. Yeah, we were stood in one place. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so like I said to you, we did get that on a different camera as well, so I'll play that one just uh, so we can see the different angle. That's, that's that door opening. That is that door opening. What door? Dale, Dale, please tell me that you're that's doing it. You know when I radioed you? Yeah, yeah. It's still, it's still. Oh, shh. Shh. It's very loud. It's yeah, very clear. Yeah. 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 yeah, very clear on that video. It's yeah. clearly a doll. It's good that we got two to go for me. But yeah, mm. You can't miss it. Excellent stuff. Okay, mm. so based on everything and our night there, how are we all feeling then? So, Ben, what do you think about the old workhouse that Dawn. Do you think it's haunted? I certainly think it's a very spooky and creepy place that I don't want to be in alone. <laughs> <laughs> There's, there was clearly a lot of activity that just left us all really uncomfortable and uh, it would be great to go again, but I do believe it's haunted. Okay. Tim? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a... Uh... Not the longest trip there, but a good trip there. And when we got there and it did start kicking off, I thought, hey, we've got a good one here. Uh, as it continued through the night, it got a little bit scary because I thought, something's uh, on a full-time job here. <laughs> <laughs> it's putting, putting in the hours, whoever or whatever, or, you know, it was. Uh, yeah, but come uh, home time, I was happy. But I would like to definitely think that it's a, it's a haunted building. Jane, what, what do you think? I think... Now knowing that was the oldest part of the building, I think certain areas were definitely hot spots, weren't they? Um, yeah. mm. And once again, we were very lucky with the amount that was happening. Mm. It was quite unusual to have that amount, but in a concentrated 
area are very clear. Um, I would certainly say that, in my opinion, parts of it have got something going on. Okay. Mm. Dale? Yes. <laughs> no, we, we, we're joking aside, without a doubt, there are, as Jane has said, there are, there are certain areas of that building that are very active. And on the flip side, there are other areas that there, were, there was nothing happened. Mm. And nothing at all, really quiet. And, but from what evidence we got, I, I can personally say to myself that, yeah, that building is haunted. Mm. Oh, a big sceptic then, Phil. <laughs> what do you think? Um, I think from an early stage in that investigation, um, I was kind of convinced something was going on. Straight away you got yeah, something, yeah. Um, because we were all downstairs and there was definite footsteps across the corridor and the door closing. Mm. Um, those breath noises that you caught on camera when you were bent, uh, especially the one that you didn't hear at the time, mm. and that's crystal clear, so... Uh, you know, um, I think I think there is something like you guys say. I think there is something going off there mm -hmm. in certain areas more than others. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I would again say that it was haunted. Mm. And on that first instance where you heard them footsteps, when going up there to first investigate and see whether there's anything there, anyone there, the lights were on, and them lights did not come on unless someone was up there. Sensors, there sensors, was motion sensors, 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 weren't they? Yeah, yeah, forgot about that. So the first thing I got up there is like, oh, God, Bennett lights were on. So, it's, you know, something had, something had triggered, triggered it, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Personally, for me, do you know what? Fantastic night. I loved it there. <laughs> I did, yeah. I did though, I've got to admit. <laughs> yeah, I, I was really impressed by it. And I think probably, like I've already said, because I thought you kind of first go in there and you know, it's not an old castle or anything like that, mm. you know, so you've not got that sort of psychological aspect in the beginning, but yeah, I loved it. Um, I think the, the, the door that kept opening, and it wasn't just the fact that it opened, the handle moved as well, but like you say, the breath, mm -hmm. things like that, and the footsteps that were heard, and we all trust each other. Yeah. Definitely, I think yeah. there's something going on at that one workhouse. I think the biggest tribute you can pay to that breath sound is the fact that the first time you heard it on camera nobody else reacted to it but then the second time you can hear it again on the second piece of footage ben reacted to it yeah um, and i think that ties in really nicely yeah. so yeah excellent haunted 